Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, we are in the same lovely setting as like we were in my last video, but you know, it's fine. This, this is, it's just more convenient for me to film right here because I don't have to drag a um, stool that like barely fits through the doorway into this bathroom, so. I'm just gonna, I'll just show you real quick. As you can see, it's just the toilet. Is that ghetto? Maybe. I just don't know, but, oh, is this camera angle different now? Uh, okay, well, we're just gonna go with that. So, just thought I'd give you an insight on my setup, I don't know. I talked about it last time, but I didn't like, I didn't go in depth about it. Sorry about that. I should probably edit that out, but I'm not going to. So, anyway, on to the point of this video. Um, this is my August favorites video. We still have like, no we don't, no. The first is on Tuesday. So, I'm filming this on a Friday. Anyways, so this is basically August is over. So it, which is weird because it feels like it just started. I don't know, it freaks me out. Okay, anyways, let's just get on to it, or on with it rather. Um, all I really have here is beauty stuff, but I am gonna mention like some gaming stuff at the end. Um, I don't have anything physically with me because I'm a PC gamer, but, but yeah, let's just go with this. Um, Let's just start out with brushes. They're both dirty. Hashtag deal with it. Um, let's start off with the big one. This is the Sedona Lace 312 brush, I guess. And it's like a domed shader brush. It's very dense. Um, just ignore the eyeshadow that's on it. It's very, very dense, as you can see. So it's really good for like packing on color. Um, also very useful for blending, so I really love this brush. I use it like almost like every day. I just use it to sweep a, like a neutral base color across my eyeballs, like a built-in transition color or something. Let's just call it that. And then the second one is the MAC 239. I think that says, and it is just their classic flat shader brush, and as you can see there, 239, it's kind of rubbed off. I put clear nail polish over it to, well, in an effort to keep it from rubbing off. It kind of works, sort of, I don't know, but once again, this is dirty. You'll just have to bear with me, because I use it pretty much every day. I didn't really do much on my eyeballs today, but this is what I use when I do... Well, either this or a BH Cosmetics flat shader brush. Those are also really good. I just use this when I really want to get like a bunch of intense color on the brush. Like as you can see, I have a light purple on it. With really pastel colors and colors that it's hard to bend, build up the pigmentation, I use this brush because it's really, really, really good at just like grabbing the color and slapping it on your eyeball. So, those are my brush favorites this month. Um, we'll just continue in the uh, eye region, since those were eye brushes. And this is the palette that I've been reaching for the most this month, which is really strange. Um, um, mainly these colors. This one, it is a sugar pill shadow from the Sparkle Baby collection. I'll swatch it for you. It's a very, very light pastel purple. And then this one, which is a matte pigment in amethyst, which is very, very similar. It's like a sparkly, purpley pink color. So you can compare the two there. I, I use them in conjunction with one another. And then the other one is this one from the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. And I mix these three together. This is from the Urban Decay Ammo palette here. 
So that's the three, that's what it looks like together. And I very often mix them together. See, there, hand swatches. See, they're very, very light, which is why I love using the matte 239 with it, because it just helps to get the color onto my lid super, super well. Because sometimes with these light colors, if you use like a, a thinner brush, I don't know what to, how to say it, but like a BH Cosmetics brush doesn't really pick up that light color super well, um, which is why I usually reach for the MAC um, brush for it. And I've also been loving, oopsie, didn't mean to do that. I've also been loving this purple color from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I don't even know what it's called. That's what it looks like. It's super, super bright. I use, um, I use these three colors on the whole lid and then I use this color as my blending shade. And I'll just, as you can see, there's a reason why they call it the Electric Palette. Yeah, that's never coming off. I'll have to wash that off after this video. Um, so yeah, I've been reaching for my colorful palette a lot. Like, a lot. So, this is definitely a favorite for me. Okay. Set those things to the side. Um, continuing with beauty, this is the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. And I use this every single day when I do my makeup. Obviously, I don't use it if I don't do my makeup. Um, I didn't actually think I was going to like this. I just wanted to try it out because I, the MAC primer that I was using was breaking me out. So, I moved to this. This is the size comparison, by the way. So, I moved to this and it just works wonders. I don't particularly like the smell of it. It smells kind of like... It's, it kind of has like a hint of like Vicks, like Vicks Vapor Rub and something else. It has that um, silicone -y feel, so if you don't like that, you probably wouldn't be interested in this. But I like it. Um, it seems to help my makeup stay on better. I'm wearing it on my face today, so I really love that. Um, I have one hair product, and I've had this for a really long time. I just haven't used it. It is the one and only Argan Oil derived from Moroccan Argan Trees Styling Cream. And this is what it looks like. I just use two pumps of it on my hair every day while it's wet to make it less frizzy and more manageable. Um, I just really like it a lot. It says conditions and hydrates, eliminates frizz, adds definition and shine so that's what the pump looks like obviously it's got some of it on there because i use it every day it smells really really good it's not it just smells like argan oil things so i like that stuff a lot uh, i would probably repurchase it but i don't know where exactly you get it so the final thing is some stuff that i've had forever it is the Bath & Body Works Forever Midnight Body Spray. I've just been reaching for this a lot this month. Um, I usually only go for it in winter time because it has kind of more of a winter scent to me. Uh, but I really love this. I got it like two Christmases ago or last Christmas. I don't remember, but it smells amazing. It, it just... It's kind of, it, it's not heavy. I don't want to say it's heavy, but it doesn't smell like a, like a summer slash spring scent. It smells like a fall winter scent, um, which is fine with me. I love this stuff. It's super great. They also have a little, they have two lotions. They have two lotions. Um, I have both of them. I love Forever Midnight. It's like the Forever, like collections that Bath & Body Works does are like my favorite ones. Like. Forever Midnight and Forever Red. Forever Red, I love. Like, I have two bottles of it, and one of them has never been opened. <laughs> it takes forever to go through these things, but I love having a spare 
just in case. Um, then, like I said, I have a few video game things. I don't know. I'm going to do a video game collection video. Potentially right after this one. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put it on this channel, though. Just because I don't want to put it on my gaming channel. I'm going to put it on this one. Uh, but anyways, so gaming favorites this month. Um, definitely Sheltered, which is an indie game. Uh, I just started playing it, like, earlier this week, I think. And I am obsessed with it. Basically, what you do is you have your little family in a fallout shelter. And you have to, you know, maintain your resources and go out and collect more resources. And basically just keep yourself alive and upgrade your shelter and yada yada yada. I'm pretty sure you understand. Um, and then along those same lines, my other video game favorite this month is Fallout 3. I gave it another chance and I'm kind of obsessed. As you might know, if you watch my gaming channel, I am doing a Fallout New Vegas Let's Play on that channel. Um, so I don't like outside of recording, I don't generally play Fallout New Vegas uh, just because I want to save it for recording. But so because of that, I started back playing Fallout 3 because I never really played much of it and I kind of wanted to explore the game, but it irritated me really bad. But then I started playing it and I actually started getting good at it and uh, now I kind of love Fallout 3, so you know, I'm just on a Fallout kick. Fallout 4 has got me hyped. I'm going to pre-order that like as soon as I get my paycheck, like you don't know, like I get paid on Tuesday. Hello, I'm trying to get that Fallout 4 live. Anyways, <laughs> that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, I don't have any other favorites, I don't think. Oh, can I count my job as a favorite? I don't know. Can I? I'm going to. I count my job as a favorite because I've just now started working like every day, um, all week, every day. That was kind of self-explanatory. Um, whereas before, I worked for a week and then I was off for a few weeks. But now I'm starting like every day, um, except for like if the office is closed or something, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna count my job as a favorite because it's actually really, really fun. Um, you know, being a secretary is the most fun a girl can have. But it's a fun job. I love it. I love it. So yeah, that's going to wrap up my August favorites. Um, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like if you like this video. Comment down below. Give me some video suggestions. And subscribe if you want to see more because I make new videos every Monday and Friday. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.